Well, hello. Thanks to caught me on the hop show. Um, I can't, still can't do it. Want to beam up? Are you there? Want to beam up? Oh. Honestly, five years on an away mission. They beam me down to observe 21st century earth and for five years nobody answers the bloody communicator hello hello guys uh hang on no no reply uh they've left me here made me down never came back for me so i'm stuck amongst you primitive humans but i can't interfere because of the prime directive so let's talk about star trek continues what our ship's made of. Interesting episode. Interesting episode. Loved it. And I will say, absolute bloody genius. I wasn't expecting that. John Delancey. All hail the great Q. Right, uh, you say I don't want to give spoilers away and twists and turns, but I have to review the episode. The writing superb, the acting superb. The set's superb, all of it superb. Really enjoyed it. Couldn't find any flaws, uh, anything in this episode. It, with each episode, it improves upon the last. This was quite a unique episode, what they did with it was very clever. I wasn't expecting it all, but look, I'm gonna tell you anyway. Uh, they get Central Planet. It's like one of these worlds where like they're all a bit hiding away behind the borders there's a lot of that in it's like brexit over here in the uk like like the federations the eu and, and and i suppose they're beaming down to britain i'm only joking right so anyway back back to the point uh they got this planet and 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 the twist in this is mind-blowing i'm gonna tell you uh there's some kind of this planet sends signal for help and they're being down and the whole thing's in black and white man the the whole thing it's black and white and they're like i'm like what it, it, it the beam downed into a black and white tv program and it just took me back to being a kid do, do, do you know what i mean like remember when you when you were young you, you had a black and white tv and it was just mind-blowing and, and john delance played this light He's always looking dodgy and up to something. It doesn't matter even if he's playing a nice guy and he is a nice guy and he's just doing what's right for his people. But uh, it's just something where you feel you can't trust him. Well, they're on this black and white planet, which is just superb. I love it. I really do love this, what they did with this episode. Do you know, Paramount, spent, they spend millions on episodes and all this, and yet that will cost them nothing. So simple, so beautifully done. It just blew me away. Well, there's problems on this world, and, and, and you're coming into racism, and all the usual Star Trek style type stuff but there's such a twist with it all and i, I might have given it away because how, how, how can i talk about you, you, you know but it, it's nothing is what it seems and the gap for it and and the the character development you're following this like emotional journey through of the situation of people on this planet where it's not their fault they just don't know and now they get to react to it and, and it's great. I mean, like, if you lived in a world of black and white and suddenly colours thrust upon you, mind blowing. And, and then, and, but what is so impressive about this episode is uh, you get the spirit of Star Trek in this. Uh, you really do, you get that spirit. Because it, it's going for the jugular on the moral causes. And Q puts up, a, well, John Delancey, actually, when Kirk is telling him stuff about moralizing to him he does it in back with a really nice and you know about the prime directive he said who are you to tell me about my people and then kirk's actually he's actually shut up here you know because normally uh, you, how he is you know he's a bit of gung-ho and things uh about humanity and, and 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 you shouldn't be doing this but then there's the prime directive that puts the wall up where you can't interfere and it is quite a nice price to pay as the prime directive i mean i've argued this 
many years, is it the right thing should you interfere? You know what I mean? To let a whole race die. And, and th this comes into question. And and then and then you find out there's another race exists. But I can't I can't go any further than that. I've already let out the black and white thing. But as you're watching this episode, it really does go into the old political spectrum of this and the moralising. But I do love John Delancey taking on Kirk with the, about the Prime Director saying, well, what's it got to do with you? Who are you to tell us how we live in our world? But yet again, they're closed in one spectrum. They don't got a clue. And this is where it all starts getting into, in, into things. I mean, it's questionable. I mean, I really did enjoy this episode. So, so this is it. They're, they're filming three more episodes, two more to go after this. Uh, I'm going to miss this. You know, I'm really going to miss these episodes. Do you know, because of this, we won't be getting Star Trek Discovery because of these people putting the hard work in, the dedication, the writing, raising the money, everything they do. You know, Star Trek Discovery won't be only set some bits down to the fan base and the people. Uh, and again, I say this on every review of Star Trek Continues that uh, that why don't Paramount just pick this up and pay for it as an internet TV series every week? Give them the money, pay them for working there, use the same people, the same writers, and just finance it as an internet series every week. I mean, because if they can do that on one budget for one episode, I know it takes a month to film it, but they do it. Can you imagine what they could do with the backing CBS and Panama as an internet series every week? You know, one episode a week on the internet, pay these people and, and, and they'd make a fortune, especially with the advertising and all the other stuff. I just don't know why they're not picking up on this. Because I'm, I'm completely dedicated to Star Trek Continues. Later this year, I'm actually going out to New York, either early January or I'm hoping New Year, and I'm going to try and get out to the uh, Star Trek set at Tricon, Tricon Daruga or somewhere. So I'm hopefully I'm going to get out there this year. You know, I've just got a lot on, got passports sorted, so I'm looking into it now. But it's happening, but it's going to be the next few months. So I'm hoping to do a vlog from there, which should be interesting, just to walk around them sets, you know. So I'd just like to, again, what a fantastic episode, really enjoyed it, and, uh, well, I think it's time for me to beam off, so live long and prosper, brothers, Martin to Enterprise, beam me up, hang on, Alexa, stop, that's Alexa. Martin's from Dead Surprise. Bay me up. No. Maybe next time. Alright guys. See you soon.